Hi, Ron. How are you doing? Good, Very good, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Ashwin. How are you? I am good too. I am good too. And first of all, I would really like to thank you for taking out some time and being part of this uh, chat. Uh, how is life treating you? And how how is your preparation for IPL going on? And would you like to tell our fans with which team you are currently with? Uh, uh, so I have been uh, the net bowler for CSK this year. Uh, I am here for a break, and uh, I'll be joining them once they go back uh, after the first game. Uh, so. Preparations okay. are good. Good. Uh, it's been going well. So, During how are the preparations coming along? Ah, uh, it's been good. The camp's been really, uh, really a good experience for me. I uh, got to learn a lot. Uh, obviously, my boy is there, so just watching him. Uh, obviously, playing cricket, but other than that as well, just him around, uh, being around you is uh, a big uh, learning experience for me. Okay. So just to give all of our viewers a little background, uh, Royston is a left-arm pace bowler. As you all know, he plays for the Mumbai Ranji team, and he has been playing since seven years. He made his debut way back in 2016, and till now we have played 29 games for Mumbai in Ranji yes, Trophy. Yes, 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 currently yes. And he also ha- was part of the Delhi Capitals team way back in 2013. So Royston, first of all, let me start by asking you how. How was your creating journey like? How did it begin, and who were your early inspirations? Uh, so I started playing cricket seriously. Like uh, started playing leather ball cricket at uh, the age of seventeen, and uh, within a year, uh, I got noticed uh, in the club uh, club sides in Bombay, uh, and luckily got uh, picked for the Mumbai under nineteen team as well because I did well in the uh, in the uh, what do you call it? uh the games that we play the selection games uh, for the under 19 tournament uh un- unfortunately couldn't play the kuch bihar but i played the one days and uh, then i was dropped uh, due to fitness reasons uh but that that was the first time that i actually uh, started playing cricket seriously and then got picked for the state and then sort of decided what to do uh, in cricket and uh, how things are so i learned along the way uh, it wasn't like uh i had prior experience so i didn't uh, come with a lot of experience i had to actually learn a lot of things along the way okay so being a left arm pacer who were your early inspirations uh i used to follow obviously i used to follow zaheer khan because he is like the legend in india i used to follow uh, wasim akram i still i still do and uh, other than that i think i did i Uh, as as uh, a lot of pacers in india they made their debuts i started trying to copy them like rp singh uh, irfan bai irfan patan uh, like, like every time someone used to do well i used to try to copy their actions and uh, see what happens uh, very very sort of uh, immature but uh, as a kid you do that right when you play cricket you you try to imitate uh, players who are playing at a higher level uh, so i i think those were uh, the guys who i i used to look forward uh, to being uh, one day uh, but uh, especially in india i think uh, zaheer bhai was the one who who i followed the longest like i've i've always looked at his videos uh, what he used to do in his bowling especially uh, in the in the one day and t20 format he used to bowl the knuckle ball so that is something i, I uh, used to try to do so yeah so with uh avasti your fellow fast bowler is also online so yeah. hello brother how are you uh, i have been following you guys i i was uh, at bkc when mumbai were playing saurashtra and that's where we happened to meet first yeah. so speaking about ashish nehra he was part of the delhi team in 2013 along with another mumbai and india legend in ajit agarkar yeah. what were the early early uh, inputs or tips they gave you when you were part of that team in 2013 uh so i had a good interaction with uh, ashish bhai uh, when i was in uh, delhi dead devils uh, so i think he keeps the game really simple like every time i used to ask him ashish bhai kya karna hai kya aage kya seekhna hai so he used to be like pehla to apna length sahi se dal so that that, that is something uh, that he is always believed in uh, even now i think uh, if you ask him the first thing he'll, he'll uh, tell you is hit the length right so i think he keeps things really simple uh, and that is something to learn from him because as as bowlers 
especially in the T20 format, uh, especially in the one days, we try to do a lot of experimentation with our bowling. Uh, but I think the the key is uh, to first first hit the right length, and then uh, rest of the things follow. So I think uh, that is something that I learned from him to keep things as simple as uh, you can. So speaking of Delhi Capitals, you when you were there, David Warner was uh, in the in infancy stage of of his IPL career. He had just played a few years, but he had, by then he had become a huge part of international cricket. He had already created a name for himself. Yeah. Uh, now he's back as the Delhi skipper. How was your uh, how was your interaction with him and your experience while bowling to him in the nets? Because He's quite an explosive and dangerous batsman. So, how was it bowling to him, and what what did you feel at that point of time? You know, when you were part of such a vast variety of uh, international superstars and Indian superstars, because as a 19-year-old kid at that point of time, it could be unnerving for sure, isn't it? Definitely, it was. Uh, it was unnerving. Uh, I used to be really nervous to talk to anyone, especially when you know that they are. you know international stalwarts and uh, you you kind of uh, it's difficult to gauge as to who is approachable and who is not uh, but with warner i think uh, even 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 during that time he was pretty approachable and he's a fun guy uh, you you must have seen his videos now but he's always been like that uh, it's it's not like he's changed over the years uh, and uh, uh, obviously uh, talking about his uh, batting i think i can tell you uh, one of the one of the things uh, that i experienced during the delhi daredevils camp so shahbaz nadim was bowling and uh, uh, i'm sure many of the people they know how uh, the firosha kotla is it has a like a stand like three stands uh, right yeah. right uh, behind the uh, side screen so shahbaz nadim comes in to bowl and uh, he bowls the first ball and he gets and gets hit uh, like for a six on the first stand and then he bowls the second ball gets hit on the second stand and then he bowls the third ball and he hits it on the third stand which is actually pretty high if you look at it like that it hits the third stand and come the ball comes back on the ground and shahbaz nadim stopped bowling he was like bhai aaj ka ho gaya mera main nahi kar raha isko bowling so that is the that could be 100 meters right yeah the third stand yeah, yeah 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 easy easy 100 meters like he can hit the ball really really far away like on his day he can smash it So I just want to come back to your uh, journey with Mumbai cricket. Like, if you can list out your top moments or one favorite moment or one special moment that you have felt with Mumbai cricket team so far, because uh, Mum- there is a uh, there is a lot of competition for places in the Mumbai team at this point of time, and Mumbai, as we all know, it keeps producing cricketers just like Delhi, just like any other part of India. Who want to play Ranji Trophy cricket? So, could you tell me what was that most defining moment of your Ranji Trophy career? Uh, I think obviously winning games is uh, what we play cricket for. So, uh, I think winning the Vijay Hazare, we won the Vijay Hazare first time after twelve years. Uh, so that was definitely a special moment for me. Uh, and then we won the Mustaq Ali uh, this year. Uh, we won it for the first time. So. that is one one of the moments i think we have we have a lot of small small moments uh, that i have experienced throughout the years but uh, i think one of the biggest moments would be uh, we we chased down 625 uh, in the 2018 season just just before covid uh, it was the last okay. league i think it was the last league game and we chased uh, 625 sarfaraz khan had scored a triple hundred and uh, at no point in the game we thought like even when we conceded 625 runs not not one player in the team said ki are yaar score bahut zyada ho gaya hai chase karna difficult ho jayega everyone like all all 15 of us the support staff everyone believed that we could chase it down so that that is something special like chasing those kind of totals having those kind of moments in the game i think that is very special and it will stay with me like if you if if you ask me uh, like what i will remember post my cricketing days this is this is one of the moment that was a freak freak innings because i remember i watched that uh, 
highlights of that innings 301 he had scored if i'm not yes, wrong yes yes so speaking of surpras khan uh, roshan i just want to ask you there is a huge mumbai presence at least two of the youngsters that you have played with one is prithvi shaw and the other is surpras khan surpras khan is likely to be the uh, lead wicket taker uh, wicket keeper i'm sorry for delhi capitals as said by uh, ricky ponting so if this at this point of time do you think that uh, this is a huge more chance for surpras khan to prove that yes he is ready for international cricket definitely i i have uh, talked to surpras about this for a couple of years now uh, because he's been scoring runs for a lo- like, like for a long time and it's it's not like he's he's scoring runs in uh, two or three games it's been two seasons now uh, he's had the highest average he's scoring runs for fun i think it's just about when that chance will come it's it's not about whether he whether is he ready for the for the indian call up it's it's just about when that chance will come and uh, we just have to wait for it like i, I don't think uh, even he is worried too much about it obviously not getting picked uh, hurts but i i don't think uh, that that will uh, you know uh, have any negative thought in his head i think he's in a very good space of mind right now and i think this ipl if he's playing uh, regular games for delhi it's it's a great opportunity for him to actually prove that he you know belongs to the next level speaking of prithvi shaw you were part of that game where he scored that amazing 377 yes. at no time because i was following the updates at no time did it look like he will get out maybe he was going in for 400 and even the 442 record which is an age old record in indian cricket what was your a uh, reaction watching that innings because it was an amazing innings which which for a youngster is filled with you know ye khelna hai humko ye bachpan mein humko aisa hai ki hum apne team ke liye itna runs bane so what was your reaction watching that innings live from the dugout <laughs> we were actually pretty relaxed like when when prithvi gets going uh, we sort of in the dugout or in the dressing room we sort of relax because we know half the job is done it's just about him getting going uh, so so when he was hitting uh, those runs and uh, he was scoring those runs for us it was like kitne aur karega it wasn't like you know ab out hoga kya kitne run karega ye wo aisa like we we weren't thinking too much about it we were just going with the flow and it looked like he was batting for fun it, at at some point it was actually looking like he's just practicing it wasn't even looking like a game It, it was just like practice for him. They were bowling. He was scoring runs for fun. So it's it's actually fun to watch when uh, he's on song. Coming back to CSK, uh, <laughs> how was it? How was it uh, as a as a net bowler? Because you were you were bowling to one of the greatest names in the annals of cricketing history, which is MS Dhoni. Like every year, we think that this guy. this could be the last time we could be seeing him but he springs us a surprise and he comes back and comes back better like how was it and how does he manage to do it because as a bowler i'm sure that you still wonder like yaar ye marega to like it's going to stay hit so how do you bowl to such a batsman and how was your interactions with ms dhoni so far and just one more small question what what advice did he give you uh so uh, with with my bhai i think Uh, everyone loves him uh, that's the first thing that you'll you'll you won't find many people who will who will actually not love my bhai like everyone in india around the world everyone they love him so just getting the opportunity to bowl to him in the nets is is a special thing for me uh, that is the first thing like just like when i got a call from uh, csk uh, that you've been picked as a net bowler my first reaction like, like they asked me are you available and my first reaction was like i didn't even think about it i was like yes i am available because that's like a golden opportunity to bowl to my bhai um very humble person uh, like even if when you talk to him you won't even uh, realize that he is ms dhoni like you know there are a lot of cricketers when you talk to them uh, you won't really feel approachable but uh, with my bhai i think it's uh, it's like very it comes to him very naturally uh, and and you can talk to him any time uh, i haven't actually got the chance to interact too much with him uh, because he was 
was busy with uh, his own preparations and stuff but i think uh, over the course of the ipl when uh, when i'll be there bowling more to him i, I think i'll get uh, chances to talk to him uh, i did bowl to him in the net side did bowl to him in the practice games as well so every time i i used to bowl a good ball uh, he used to uh, you know appreciate it he used to be like ah well bowled and then uh, he used to set field like he, he used to look at what bowlers are bowling and then he used to be batting and then still set fields uh, according to what he thinks is right uh, like a right field for the bowler so I, i think his cricketing knowledge is on another level uh, and there's a lot to learn like just obso- observing uh, uh, how he sets the field and uh, how he goes about uh, his prep is uh, is something to learn uh, during the during the course of the ipl when i'll be there uh final few questions uh you, what is what have you picked up from your stint so far and what do you expect to pick up once you head back to chennai if i'm not wrong as a as a part of the csk team like what are you expecting to pick up and what have you picked up so far from whatever experience you have had with the four time champions so right now uh... Uh, we've we've uh, actually bowled a lot in the nets, and I think uh, so there's something to learn from every every cricketer that's the, that's there in the team. All the international cricketers, how how they prepare for a game, uh, what their mindset is. Uh, lot of lot of international cricketers, uh, how they how they approach the game, uh, how they load up before a game. That is that is something that I've you know observed. Uh, during my course uh, with, with CSK up till now, and then uh, I think there are a lot of things like you know uh, as bowlers, uh, the international bowlers like uh, yeah, like Bravo is there right now. Uh, how he bowls the slower one, that's that's always uh, something that I've uh, you know thought of learning. And now that I've got the chance to uh, be there around him, that is something that I'll uh, look forward to learning. So. there are a lot of things that uh, are there in my mind uh, but especially it's it's just about how how international cricketers prepare for a game i think that is something that uh, i i am looking forward to learning so uh, fellow mumbai cricketer and mumbai captain ajinkya rahane is there so his part of the csk team so unfortunately is not playing today and csk are bowling first uh, that's the toss update so gujarat titans ke liye joshua little is I get another left arm pacer uh, from here and he's making his debut for Gujarat Titans. So, uh, Royston, what we are going to do is this is where the fun segment is. This is the rapid fire question. I am going to just be asking you a few things. So, if you can just uh, just one word answers if you can. So, uh, out of the fab four, Virat Kohli, Steve Smith, Joe Root, Kane Williamson, the better batsman. Virat Kohli, definitely Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli. Okay, so the best Indian captain, uh, Saurav Ganguly, M S Dhoni, Virat Kohli. Oh, tough one, but uh, I'll still go with M S Dhoni because M S Dhoni has my heart. Yeah. Like I'm a little biased towards him. So, so your top four for this IPL, the top four teams in the playoffs. Uh, I think C S K, uh, Gujarat Titans, uh, K K R, and uh, a tie between M I and R C B. Rohit Sharma pull shot or Virat Kohli cover drive? Oh. Rohit Sharma pull shot. Rohit Sharma pull shot. Vada Pav or Masala Dosa? Vada Pav. Vada Pav. Finally, one last question. Any message you want to give to our cricket cult audience? Uh, cricket cult audience. Uh, a lot of cricketers who are watching this right now. Uh, just keep working hard and uh, you know. things will happen when they have to happen uh, do what is in your control and uh, don't think about results uh, just just focus on the process thank you and uh, from our side royston it was an amazing time thanks for seriously thanks for taking out uh, uh, this time and i hope that you go uh, and progress further in your career and we get to meet soon yet again and we do yet another interview some other time thank you thank you so so much it's uh, it's been a pleasure uh, talking to you and uh, hopefully i'll see you soon thank you guys and uh, also 
uh, please follow Royston Dares. That's his ID. And shower your love to all our cricketers because this is the season of cricket and this is the season of IPL. So with that being said, thanks for joining us. Like I always say, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Be happy, be safe. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Royston. Thank you. Thank you so much.